It was a, a cold December uh, in 1986 when I was first introduced to the Leadership Institute. Actually, I'd heard about it in November of 1986, right after I'd gotten done working on a congressional campaign for Congressman Herb Bateman, who represented what he called America's First District. That's Virginia's First District. And I got a call about the Leadership Institute training and a legislative project management school that was going to be run up here in Arlington, Virginia. So I left uh, 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 Virginia, Virginia Beach and Hampton and Newport News. And I came up on a cold day and we sat through uh, a very extensive training. I think it was like four days at that time. Uh, but it was my first experience with the Leadership Institute and through the Job and Talent Bank, now called the Employment Placement Service, I believe, uh, I got an interview with National Right to Work during that period of time when I was here for Leadership Institute School. And then I got a job and I got sent across the Mississippi River out to New Mexico. Uh, I had never been west of the Mississippi River prior to uh, getting this job with the National Right to Work organization uh, through the Leadership Institute. And a career started then in 1986 that has lasted through today, uh, almost 23 years of work for Right to Work in various capacities. Uh, it started out as a field man traveling across the country running legislative programs and working on campaigns uh, in various states across the country, uh, 14 where we did specific legislative programs, working in hundreds of state senate and state house races across the country. And then finally about 1990 I was uh, privileged to come back to work in our phone bank facility which is down in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And then in March of 1990, Reed Larson, then president of the National Right to Work Committee and Foundation, called me and asked me to come to Washington to interview for a job at the national headquarters. And at the time, the Leadership Institute was headquartered in the National Right to Work building over in Springfield, Virginia. So I got to interact with Morton and the interns and all of the staff, uh, albeit there were many fewer staffers at the time when they were in our building than today, where the Leadership Institute has blossomed into the premier training group uh, on the conservative side of the aisle. Uh, but it was a privilege to interact with Morton and Kevin Gentry and other members of the staff who uh, were doing the job of training Americans, including me, in how to be successful in the public policy process. Uh, from 1990 to 1993, I ran the state legislative program for Right to Work, uh, basically overseeing uh, the legislatures in all 50 states, uh, looking out for encroachments on individual freedom and expansions of compulsory unionism power. And then in 1994, uh, Reed Larson asked me to help with the federal legislative program. And then in 1998, he asked me to be involved a little more with the foundations program. And finally, in 2003, um, the board of directors, uh, which includes Morton Blackwell, uh, allowed me the privilege of being president of the National Right to Work Committee and the National Right to Work Legal Defense, Defense Foundation. And it's been a wonderful run. Uh, a wise man said that if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. And so far, thankfully, since I attended a Leadership Institute school back in 1986, I haven't worked a day in my life.